truly believe in this thing, man. Right? If we truly believe that the Lord gonna come back, destroy the nations, or we gonna round them up, or we gonna put them in slavery, or we gonna rule over them, man, forever. And we truly believe in this thing. Right? We're not half assing it, right? Man. So people think that they got wisdom of this world because they know the trigonometry, because they know uh, geometry. Right. That, that's not the wisdom of the Lord, man. The Lord don't care about anything in Babylon. He doesn't care about uh, being able to, to finesse people, to be able to get over on people, to uh, apply users. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. What the Lord say? Fear not them which kill the body, uh -huh. but are not able to kill the soul. Hey, not people, hey, the Lord said fear not them that was able to kill the body, man. Hey, those people that killed our body every day was the so-called white man and these other nations with the food that they put out there for us to eat, with the captivity they put us in and forced us into these damn uh, reservation camps. You know what I'm saying? Over the high, like how they did over there in, uh, on the uh, on the, uh, the border, man, to the to the damn uh, uh, Israelites, man. You know what I'm saying? And the, 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 the tribe of Asher, man. You know what I'm saying? Brother. Come here, brother. Come here the words of the Lord, brother. We out here for you. Two minutes. Two minutes, brother. Two minutes. Two minutes. Come on, lot of your nationality, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. You love God, brother? Hey, hey, brother. Hey. Brother, do you love God, brother? Brother, do you love God, brother? You love God? If you love God, then you'll come hear his word then, brother. You love God, brother? Hey, give me the book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15, man. For this brother, man. It's the book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. Yeah. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Ah, Salaki, no, go to John chapter 14 and verse 21, Salaki. John chapter 14 and verse 21. Uh -huh. He that has, has my commandments and keepeth them, he is that loveth me. And, like it. and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. And so do you keep the Lord's commandments, brother? You know what I'm saying? He said, if you love, he said, he that loveth me keepeth my commandments. And no, there ain't no try. Ain't even, there ain't even no word for should in the Hebrew. Because it's either you do or you don't. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no should. Ain't no try. It's either you love him or you're not. The most high God ain't double-minded, man. Hey, give me the book of first, uh, uh, give me the book of uh, James chapter 1 and verse 22, man. You can't be double-minded in this thing, brother. I ain't mad at you either, brother. I love you. And I'm trying to show you some love. Come on. Bring it up. The book of James chapter 1 and verse number 22. Uh -huh. But be ye doers of the word. What the Lord say? But be ye doers of the word. Huh? And not hearers only. And you got to do the words of the Most High. And that's just right. the word, brother. You got to come in here. You got to come and listen. And so you can learn how to do it. Come on. Come in, brother. Come on, brother. He said you do, do. He said, hey, brother. Hey, give me James 1 and 8. Because the brother just said, right? I try, I try. I try to keep the commandments. Either you do or you don't. 
Christ. Yeah. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 8. Uh -huh. A double-minded man. You know what I'm saying? A, a double-minded double man. man. I should. A, a double-minded double man. man. I try. A, a double-minded double man. man is unstable in all his ways. Now come and get some stability and come and learn the law and statutes and commandments, brother. That's right. That's what you got to do, man. You can't, and you can't say, I try to keep the Lord's commandments and I love the Lord, but you, and I, well, I don't, but I mean, I pray, you know, I try. No, brother, you got to do it, brother. That's right. You got to do it today. If you know you love the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, because we got here for our people trying to show them love, but they over here walking hand in hand with the so-called white man and the other nations, man. That's right. The same people, the same people that's thriving off of your captivity and slave labor. Hey, brother, y'all got some time for the words of the Lord? Oh, Two minutes, brother. Two minutes. Man, uh, yeah. What's your nationality? Colombian. You Colombian? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, all yeah. praises to the most high. My dad's side, yeah. Who, 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 who's Colombian on your side? Your father or your mother? Dad's side, yeah. Your dad's side? Praise, yeah. Hey, all praises to the most high. Hey, where do y'all see yourself on this ball right here? You too, brother. You too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? You'll be one of the tribes of Israel, man. Hey, more, more than likely, where do you see yourself at, brother? Bro, that ain't nothing on that cigarette, man. Put that thing down, man. <laughs> you weefing, man. You weefing. Put that, put that thing down, man. Throw it down. Put it down, man. Stomp on it, man. That stuff ain't right, man. You know what I'm saying? Got you right here. It's that bad? You got the cigarette butt burnt at the end? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, brother. You young. Come on, man. We all see ourselves at on this side of the board, man. On this side. What is a this is on this side of the board is what society call you. Asher. I see at the top. Asher, you yeah. be from the tribe of Asher. What'd you say? American black. American black. What about you, brother? American black. You know, let me ask you this question. Right? Look at your look at your jacket. What color is your jacket? Black. You know what I'm saying? What color is your jacket? Look at him, you look at him, and what color is they, is our skin? Black. Huh? Black. Huh? Black. Brother, that's a mental illness, brother. If you could look at this brother's skin, and you can say he a black man. No, he's brown. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Okay, you know what I'm saying? If you look at this brother, you know what I'm saying? He not white. He not. He not. You know what I'm saying? But hey, these are colors and proverbs and bywords that was given to us by our oppressor. Give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37 right fast. This the, this the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 37. Bring it out. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb and a byword, and a what? And a byword uh -huh. among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. So look, man, we a proverb and a byword, right? A proverb is something that's something that's not your name, something that's not who you are. Like, what's your name, brother? What if I called you Tom? How do you feel about that? Hey, like, hey, Tom, what's going, Tom? I ain't seen you in a minute, Tom. It just is what it is. That's no, brother. That's not how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like if I say, like, like, what's your name, brother? Huh? Dave? What, what if I call? What if I call? What if I called you Sam? You will take that? Look, if you know who you are at the end of the day, why are you tripping? Who are you? I know who I am. Who are you, brother? Black man to serve God. We not black. That's the thing. Cause we 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 look. You gonna get to you gonna get a passport to China, right? You gonna get a passport to China. You get a passport to damn India. You get a passport to damn uh, uh, Arabia. You got an Arabian man. You got a bag on Indian man. You got a Chinese man, and they could get passports to that. But where's the ticket to black? Where the passport to black? You know what I'm saying? Where's African and American at? This is one whole continent that got 54 different countries in it. So we go over there, going to speak like 2,000 different dialects. And then, and then you got a state, a, 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 a state, a country within the whole continent of North America called United States. Okay. Got one third, so. You know what I'm saying? Where y'all gotta go, man? Hey, we're the Lord's chosen people, man. Hey, the brother bear witness. This is resonating with his spirit. Yeah, I feel you and all. Oh, yeah, man. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been aware of it. Y'all got, y'all got, y'all got a flyer? 
Get a flyer for me for these brothers, man. Get a flyer for these brothers, man. Hey, man. We out here trying to wake up our people, man. We out here trying to wake up our people, get these strongholds off our people mad of being a so-called black African and American. Hey, give me the book of uh, Psalms right quick, 49 and verse 11 for these brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? And because our oppressors told us these names. Our oppressors came over here, colonized our lands, you know what I'm saying, took us out of our country and told us, yes, we are nothing but a color in two different continents. Bring it out. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 49 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Their inward thought, uh, drop that and give, and give me that, uh, and give me that uh, Hosea 4 and 6, man. And give me, uh, and give me uh, Isaiah to the, uh, 1 and verse 3, man. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed. What the Lord say? My, My people, people are destroyed. destroyed. What are them brothers? My, My people, people are destroyed. What is Israel pretty? My people are destroyed uh -huh. for a lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. Because thou has rejected knowledge. What do these brothers do? They have rejected knowledge. What do our people do every Shabbat? They have rejected knowledge. Uh -huh. I will also reject thee. They will also be rejected, man. You know what I'm saying? Our people, our people, our people try to, our people try to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we all try to tell our people, you know what I'm saying? The laws, statutes, and commandments, and show our people who they are according to history, not just history, biblical history, archaeologically, you know what I'm saying? Chronologically, man. We are here trying to show our people these things, but they don't want to hear it. Because they're too gone into the world, man. They are too, they're too gone into the world. And hey, give me the book of Second Esdras, chapter 4, right quick, in verse number 11. The book of Second Ezra, chapter four, and verse number eleven. Uh -huh. And these keep which round? Second Ezra. Second Ezra, chapter four, verse eleven. Second Ezra. How shall thy vessel then be able to comprehend the weight of the height of oh, star? Let me see. Come Keep over here, here sis. Go to verse number. Come six. over. <laughs> His name ain't Jesus. You have a shot. The letter J ain't coming to him five hundred years ago, sister. That's right. Know the Lord by his real name. Lord, our Lord and Savior, the Adam of Yahweh Shah, by his real name. And come ah. back into your, into your nationality. Come back into, into your native tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew, the Lashawan Kadash, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Let me see. Start that verse. Tom, bring it out. The book of Second Andrew, chapter 4, verse 2. Uh -huh. It said, thy heart, a sister with the brown shirt. Sister with the brown shirt and the hair and the hair scarf on. Come hear the words of the Lord, sister. We are here for you. Two minutes. Two minutes, sister. Hey, sister with the leather long jacket on. With the heel. With the heel, with the red shirt. We are here for you, sister. Two minutes. We are here for you. Because our women are like the other women, man. 120 seconds. 120 seconds, sister. 30 seconds. 60 seconds. Since you're the last chosen people, most likely you're an Israelite, you gotta pay to keep the commandments. You allergic to people look like you, sister? Come on. Bring it on. You gonna talk to the white man? The book of Second Andrew, chapter 4, verse 2. Uh -huh. It said, Thy heart have gone too far in this world. What happened to our people? Thy heart have gone too far in this world. Uh -huh. And think it's down to comprehend the weight of the height. Our people's heart has gone too far into this world. And hop down to verse 11. Our people come. You know what I'm Our people, our people heart has gone too far. Their mind has gone too far into this world. They think they can comprehend the ways of the most high. They get into all of these books made up by the so-called enemy, but not get into the book that's for your people, that's from your people, by your people, to your people, from our God, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Our people hear this, our people look at this, look at the scriptures, and they say, oh man, it's the white man book. Then we ask you to prove it. The Lord said you gotta prove all things in the past today, which is good. Right? But you're going to listen to your pastor that's standing up on the podium telling you uh, all matters of rhetoric and things out of, things out of his belly. Look at T.D. Snakes getting bounced by Diddy, man. Man! Getting, getting gushed out, man. Say he the top, and he talk, they call him still booty, man. No. No way. You know what I'm saying? Say he the master bottom man. That's it. Talk about something, hey, y'all want to, hey, hey, talk about something. Hey, pick a, hey, pick a side, you want to top a bottle, well, you already know. What the hell? But this is the people that they, hey, bow down to, and listen to, and take, and take, and get, and take influence from. Sign of 360. Sign of 360 deals with C01C3s, man. 501C3s with people, man. Oh, we ain't getting that butt tickled, man. It's off, man, bring it out. This the book of, this the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verse 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord said to Moses, 
Go get thee down for thy people, which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. They have corrupted themselves. What the Lord say? They have corrupted themselves. What happened to the children of Israel? They have corrupted themselves. Uh -huh. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. What they do? They, they have, have turned aside way, like, quickly out of the way I commanded them. them. What they do? They have made them molten calves uh -huh. and have worshipped it. See that? Hey, look, man. Is there some more there? Yes. Bring it up. And have sacrificed them too and said, These be thy God. What the, and what did Israel do? These, These be, be thy God. God. What is the money to Israel? These, These be thy God. God. What is the care of this world? These, These be, be thy, thy God. God. Uh -huh. O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people. Uh -huh. And behold, it is a stiff necked people. What is Israel? Stiff necked yeah, people. Man, that's what we try to tell our people, man. They might have gone too far to the world. They have corrupted themselves. They have made, and, and, and they, they doing what, uh, what them elephants do, man. I Meaning gold is my God, man. That's Esau's son, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, elephants, man. I mean, the gold is my God. They only care about the money. They care about the smoking of the weed. They care about the damn. They, they care about the damn pork strip, crab, and lobster. They don't want to do. They don't want to do the words of the Most High. They don't want to do the word. They don't want to keep the words of the Lord. They don't want to keep the commandments. We signed a blood covenant with our Lord, man. A blood covenant, right? And we told him, and we said, the, and we heard the words of the Lord, and said, everything that's wrote in the book of the covenant, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We told, and then guess what our people did? Because they're stiff-necked people. and want to corrupt themselves and want to be like the so-called oppressor. Well, guess what happened? We got thrust through with many sorrows, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you still holding that? You still holding that uh, in the second address? Second address, go back. Go back again to the uh, second address, chapter uh, 4 and verse number 2, man. Go back to two. Hey, somebody give me the uh, somebody give me the book of uh, of uh, Ezekiel chapter thirty seven and verse number nine. Whoever get it first. The book of Second Ezra chapter four and verse number two. Bring it out. And said, Thy heart hath gone too far in this world, and thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the highest. Yep. And our heart has gone too far in the world, man. And we think we can comprehend the ways of the Lord. Oh, think oh, I am God. <laughs> I am God. But you out here living like a damn bum. That's right. Talk about some you God. I am God. Smell like armpits and steak and cheese, man. <laughs> How are we, man? Talk about you a God. You a damn bum. Man, bring it up. Oh, like it. Bring, 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 verse 11. God, verse 11. How should thy vessel? How should I what? How should thy vessel uh -huh. then be able to comprehend the way of the highest uh -huh. and the world being not already corrupted? To understand the corruption that is evident in my sight. Because hey, we outwardly corrupted. What's your nationality? What's your nationality, bro? Where you from? What's your nationality, your nationality man? Your nationality. You speak English? East Indian. Oh, East Indian. Yeah. You, you oh, Indian? Yeah. You say where? Caribbean. Caribbean, which part? Trinidad. Trinidad? Uh -oh. So you'll be like Ayiti? The, the Ayiti. Which part of Trinidad are you from? Um, maybe They're like Caribbean, right? You said Caribbean, yeah. right? Yeah. So did your people go into slavery on slave ships? Did they get colonized by Christopher Columbus? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did? Yeah. The Carib Indians? Yeah. So that's where, the, so that's where they would be, man. Yeah. Hey, the Caribs, man. You know what I'm saying? These, right. these, were, these, these was our people too, man. You know what I'm saying? The people are all in the Carribs and the Ayiti, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Arawak Indians, man. Right. Yeah, Arawaks. You, you, you know the Arawaks? Yeah. yeah, man. Hey, we are the Lord's chosen people, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, more, more than likely, I know you probably don't speak English real good, but check those flyers out, man. You know what I'm saying? All praise to the Most High. More than likely, you'll be an Israelite. I'm not Espanol. Nah. Nah, they don't speak that. Speak like Creole. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, brother, hey, brother. Brother, one more thing, one thing. One more thing. One more, one more. Can we get this? WF5 Trinidad, man. All praise to the Most High, man. Nah, we're gonna, we're gonna speak loud, we're gonna cry loud and spare night. As a matter of fact, get Isaiah 58 for that sister. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All praise to the most high, yeah. how about Shem Yahushai? Bring it out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Demons. Cry aloud. What the Lord say? Cry aloud. What the Lord say? Cry aloud. Spare not. Do what? Spare not. Uh -huh. Lift up thy voice like a drum. What the Lord say to do? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet uh -huh. and show my people that transgression. We're going to cry out and spare not to 
damn feelings, man. We don't give a damn about how you feel. Because the Lord said if you will break his laws, statutes, and commandments, and you're going to put to death, man. That's right. Straight up. Talk about some shut up the laws and the words of the Lord ain't going to shut up. Hey, I only got enough bail money for one of y'all now. We don't give a damn about that. We don't give a damn about that, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, we're gonna get can some of us gonna get canned from the prison. You know what I'm saying? We don't give a damn. And it's and it's probably Esau. Uh huh. They out there shooting that air, they shooting that beam again, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn, man. Hey, we gonna we gonna keep bringing out the words of the Lord, man. We don't care about the people feelings, man. We're gonna tell you, we're gonna show you your transgressions. The trans right. shrimp, crab, and lobster. It can't be a part of this word if you're an Israelite. It gotta come out of it, man. And right. give the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse number four, man. Go ahead, this, the book, this the book of Revelation. This is, uh, 37 and 9. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, uh -huh. Come out of her, my people. What do people need to do? Come, Come out, out of her, her my baby. people. Uh -huh. That ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Uh -huh. For her sins have reached unto the heaven. What, the, what did Babylon do? For her, her sins, sins have reached unto the heaven. heaven. What is going on in America? For, For her, her sins, sins have reached, reached unto the heaven. heaven. Uh -huh. And God remembered her iniquity. Uh -huh. Reward her, even as she has rewarded you. And double unto her, double according to her, her work. Uh -huh. And a cup which has filled, filled to double. Uh, see that? Now her cup has been filled to double. There's more than that you read. How much? She has glorified herself. What, hey, what does Babylon do? They glorify themselves, man. They glorify themselves in slavery, like Queen Isabella the First. Yeah, keep shooting that, keep, hey, keep bringing that beam out. I see you up there in the seventh floor window, close to the top. Yeah, I see you. We see you. We see you. We're going to keep bringing out the words of the Lord. Right, Shiver my shake down shot. Shiver my shake down shot. We don't care how you feel. We don't care we're making noise. Like, we're going to bring out the Lord's word every day. That's right. Yeah, that's right. right. We don't care about that baby, I see you. Bring it up. You damn coward. <laughs> and live deliciously. So much torment and uh -huh. sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Uh -huh. Therefore shall her place come in one day. What the Lord say going to come to America? Therefore her shall her place come, come in one day. day. Uh -huh. Death and mourning. What's coming to America? Death, Death and mourning. The Lord don't care about your damn feelings, man. And he ain't dealing with the damn beam. The damn beam is going to, guess what it's going to be? It's going to be a laser beam from, guess what, one of them trains of the Lord will come and blow up your building. That's We're going right. level. We're going level that motherfucker out. You hear me? Well, don't give a damn going on about that, man. Now bring that up. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 9. Bring it out. Then said unto me, uh -huh. prophecy unto the wind. What he say? Prophesy unto the wind. Son of man, and say to the wind, Thus said the Lord God. God. Thus said my own word. Thus said, said the, the Lord, Lord God. God. Uh -huh. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe, and breathe upon me. Sla these slain, uh -huh. that they may live. And so that's what we all here to do, man. We all here to hey, bring out the words of the Lord. Our love God is strong. And his, and his judgments is going to come like a, hey, it's like a whirlwind. It's a beautiful flame of fire, man. That's right. We're not, trying, we're not here trying to tell our people, hey, they need to repent and come out of this wicked-ass place, Babylon, hey, because this great Lord coming and she's going to get an STD, man. She's getting freaked out by every damn nation that come inside of her, man. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? We got to come up out of her, man. You don't you're not be partakers of her sins, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? All of the damn, all of the damn whole music, all of the damn killing music, the drill music that's killing our people, all of the damn weed. You know what I'm saying? They got a new disorder out for people that smoke weed. It's called cannabis disorder. You know what I'm saying? It's for people that's dependent on that old weed. The 12 years old on up. You know what I'm saying? They're putting things in the weed, man. 
at the end, look, y'all, I don't trust, I don't trust the FDA and the CDC. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get the COVID, but you guess what? The FDA and the CDC approved weed, got it passed, but y'all smoked that crap. You burnt out. Now you want to rob people out here. Stroke, hey, they from like boogie when they don't smoke weed. They gotta wake up, smoke first, don't even brush their teeth. You smoke first, then you eat. Look at this, look at this. Looking like something from Fifth Element. Damn, uh, Assassin Creed. What is that, man? What is that? Filthy. Disgusting. What is that? Oh, that's what was out there. That was out the window with the bean. Was it? Yeah, it must have been. She closed the window, came out with a dog, a dog walking dog, man. That's crazy. <laughs> what is that? Dusty ass boots. What are you? <laughs> Damn, vagabond, man. Damn, flat vagabond. What are they feeling with that, man? You know what I'm saying? Hey, give me the book of Obadiah, check out. Uh, give me the book of, as a matter of fact, give me the book of Colossians. No, give me heat. No, give me, no. Come on, come on. Give me, give me Colossians chapter 3 and verse 25, and give me Job chapter 4 and verse 8. Damn, he, and give me Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 15, man. This is the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse number 5. Uh-huh. Mortify that for your members, which are, oh, no, 3 and 25. Oh, it's like in verse 3 and 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive the, for the wrong which hath he done. What happens? What's gonna happen? But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. Uh -huh. And there is no respect of person. Uh huh. That's it. And there is no respect of persons, man. So the so-called white man, the so-called Arab man, the so-called Chinese man, the so-called East Indian man, the so-called Hamite, the so-called the so-called so African man, and all of these nations that did the children of Israel dirty, that put us in captivity, that sold us into slavery. Guess what? The Most High God is going to kill your ass, man. And there's no respect of persons. He don't care if you're young or old. He don't care if you're only walking around like the fifth element with a damn dog. Like a fucking Assassin's Creed with some big dusty ass boots on, man. Like you're supposed to be on the movie called Dune or something. Don't go back, go right back there to the Dune, man. We don't care what you're saying. Over here, you know. here with a damn hippo. Looking crazy. It's probably one of those thing on things, man. No, Get that's up, that's bro. from the uh, that's the thing from the ring. Duh. That's the thing from the ring. <laughs> Calling out the TV. Looking crazy. Should have crawled your ass out the window and broke your neck. You know what I'm saying? Hey, give me that book of uh, give me that book of Job chapter four and verse eight. This the book of Job chapter four verse eight. Uh -huh. Even as I seen, they that plow iniquity. I uh -huh. say what? They that plow iniquity. Uh -huh. And so wickedness uh -huh. reap the same. What's gonna happen to Esau? Reap, reap the, the same. same. What's gonna happen to the so-called white man? We we'll reap, reap the, the same. same. What's gonna happen to the Arab man? We we'll reap the same. Hey Jake, get out. Get out, Jake. Get out, brother. Run, brother. Run, run brother. They gonna kill you. They gonna kill you, brother. Get out, brother. Hey, sex slaves and shit, man. They turn you away, brother, from following their Lord. Emmett Till. Remember Emmett Till, brother. Shut up. You damn hawking. You damn, damn crocker. Uh, 75. Keep it moving. So you ain't more doing yeah. Yeah. Hey, sis, you got two minutes. Crocker ass. Uh, Ugly ass. With the Dalmatian dog. You yeah, got two yeah. yeah, and I know what floor you live on, too. Shoot that beam right here again. And the most I got going to send fiery dots your way. And a flame of silver. By a shiver, my shaky, I was shy. And hey, give me that in the book of uh, Obadiah to the 1 and verse 15. Whoever get it first. Give it down. She came all the way out here to put her hip out. Damn, they broke that mother. Damn, two pit. Walking sick man. With a, with a, and you know she look like a damn mop. When you stand it up, that's what she look like, a mop. Like that dance that the king be doing. Come on, bring it up. We got, we got, we got who, who, Obadiah. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 15. Give me the book of Revelation chapter 3, this, chapter 13 and verse 10. This is the book of Obadiah. 1 and 18 or 15? 1 and 15. Okay. This is the book of Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Upon who? Upon all the heathen. The day of the Lord is upon who? All, all the heathen. heathen. What's going to happen to that bag on a cream looking thing? As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. What's going to happen to the so-called white man? As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. All the rape, robbing, and murdering, and stealing of men that you did to all you daggone. 
Africans, they are going white people, they are going so-called Chinese people, you damn Arab people. Guess what? The most high God's revenge is coming upon you. Can you read? Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. What's going to happen to them? Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. For ye have drunk upon my holy mountain. Uh -huh. So shall all the heathen drink continually. Uh -huh. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. Uh -huh. And they shall be as though they had not been. Oh, uh, they're going to keep drinking. Until they have swallowed down, they're going to get drunk, right? They're going to be drunk. Guess what? They're gonna, their cup going to be filled up with that affliction, right? And so there'll be no more. Can you read? But upon Mount Zion uh -huh. shall be deliverance. What's going to be? What's going to happen to the Israelites? But uh -oh. upon Mount Zion uh -huh. shall, shall be, be deliverance. deliverance. Right? There shall be no hope. There shall be holiness. Uh -huh. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. What's going to happen to the stuff of white man? And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. What is Israel going to do? And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. That's right. And the house of Jacob be a be a fire. Uh -huh. And the house of Joseph a flame. Uh -huh. And the house of Esau for Stubble. Man, we're going to burn your ass up, Esau. That's right. That's said the Lord God. Can you read? And they shall kindle in them uh -huh. and devour them. What are we going to do? And, and devour, devour them. them. That's right. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. There ain't going to be no what? Any remaining any of the house, house of Esau. Esau. I'm going to devour you till you ain't no more, man. All of us that you have done to our people. All of you so-called daggone, so-called white people. You Edomites. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, we're going to devour you to you no more. What's the more on that? Can we? For the Lord has spoken it. What the Lord? For, For the Lord, Lord has spoken it. What the Lord say? For, For the, the Lord, Lord has spoken it. Hey, the Lord has spoken it. The Lord of the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. That's right. The Lord coming back to give recompense to his people. I don't want no damn reparations. I don't give a damn about no reparations. I want recompense. I want to get it back in blood, man. That's what the Lord said we're going to have. That's the real reparations, the recompense, right? To all those people that did our people dirty, because what? Thus said the Lord God, he spoke it. They're going to get put to death, man. By a shit on shot. Revelations 13 and 10. I'm going to close out with that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. Uh -huh. He that leadeth into captivity. Who led into captivity? The so-called white man. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. Shall, shall, go shall go into captivity. What's going to happen to the white man? Shall go into captivity. What's going to happen to the Arab man? Shall go into captivity. What's going to happen to the owners of the boom boom room? Shall go into captivity. He that leadeth with the sword. Hold on, that what? He that he he that killeth with the sword. Uh -huh. So be must be killed with the sword. Read one more time. He that killeth with the sword huh? must be killed with, with the sword. sword. Hey, hey, guess what? Esau out there, hey, hey, throwing that beam out. I thought they killed up with the sword for decades, for centuries. The killers with the actual sword and now the gun. That's right. They're going to be killed with the sword. We're going to blow their ass up. We're going to shoot their ass down. We're going to shoot their heads off. We're going to have perfect aim, too, because we're going to have the spirit of the Lord in us. Overcame Babylon, we Israel, now we gird it up Ever since we came into the truth, we got our birdies up Eat this Mac, think you funny, watch how it'll burn you up I live three miles down, by the Sabbath journey up Esau see us coming up, just watch how we just turn him up In the kingdom, keep the law, we go have him double dutch Occupy till I come, go ahead and eat this honey up Anytime I see a blood moon, it got me jumping up Esau doing coke, yeah, now he fanny up I done got my spirit up, now let's just see what's up